The human trafficking trial involving Shavani Sasha Gay Hall continued today before Senior Justice John Isaacs, but it was not without some challenges for defense attorney Jairam Mangra. In the midst of cross-examination, he learned that he faced a contempt order in another court. That story tonight from Jimenita Swain. Jaram Mangro was in the middle of cross-examining a witness in the human trafficking case before Senior Justice John Isaacs for his client, Shavanese Hall, when he learned his presence was requested before Justice Indra Charles on the grounds of contempt of court and that an order was given that he be arrested and brought to the court. Mangro told reporters outside of court that Senior Justice Isaacs granted a stay of the order for the matter to be resolved as Mangro was concerned he would be arrested by officers once he stepped outside the court. Mangro explained he was due to appear before Justice Charles in a murder case where the jury was impaneled yesterday. Mangra said he explained from the onset his circumstances. He said when he started the present trial with his client, the other court was not ready to proceed with that case. On Monday before Justice Charles, he said he was informed that the trial would proceed regardless of the fact that he was in another court in front of a senior justice. Mangra said he made application to have himself removed as counsel in the murder trial and he eventually handed the case off to another lawyer. In fact, Mangra said the entire morning session in the Hall case on Monday was vacated because his client needed to see a doctor, so he did not have adequate time to complete his cross-examination. After speaking with reporters, both defense prosecution and other attorneys retired to Justice Isaac's chamber for a few minutes. When they emerged, Mangra completed his cross-examination of the witness who he can't identify for legal reasons. Mangra insisted that the story the female witness told the court was a fabrication to incriminate his client, an assertion the witness denied. The witness insisted that she was not given any inducements but was telling the truth so that no one faces a similar fate. The witness said she was not charged with overstaying her time or with prostitution. With that, the matter concluded, Manger was then required to appear before Justice Charles to address the contempt of court order. However, when court started, in the absence of the jury, the justice did not bring up the issue. She simply allowed Manger to withdraw from the case. Outside of court, Manger thanked his colleagues for their support but made no comments to the press. Jimenita Swain, ZNS Network News. It will be a few more weeks before convicted murderer Ginaldo Farrington learns his sentence for his part in the murder of banker Stephen Sherman. Farrington appeared in court today for sentencing, but the matter was adjourned due to the fact that the doctor expected to testify was unavailable. The matter has now been adjourned to April 30th for sentencing. Farrington was, last convict, was convicted last October of the murder and armed robbery of banker Stephen Sherman. Jurors also found Farrington guilty of the armed robbery of Sherman's niece. Sherman's wife, Renee, walked free after after a judge ordered jurors to acquit her due to legal reasons of conspiring with others to kill her husband, her co-accused Cordero Bethel was also cleared of murder, armed robbery and conspiracy to commit murder charges.